Why did the giant man-eating robo-cat cross the road? Apparently because the cops are after him. Oh, come on, I only ate a few humans. What's up guys and welcome to Tasty Planet Forever. Now many of you guys might remember that I did a full playthrough of the old Tasty Planet games on the channel and this is apparently the bigger, better sequel. Like there's 10 times as many levels, it's in high definition and you can play as a penguin and an octopus and a cat and the gray goo toilet bowl cleaner experiment guy. It's everything that you could ever want in a Tasty Planet game so I figured I should probably give it a try. Come to think of it, we've never played as anything other than the gray goo toilet bowl cleaner experiment in this game, so I'm really curious how a cat is going to eat what looks like all of Paris over a dozen or more levels. Look, you see what I mean? This is a really big game, and that's like kind of a big cat, right? It's sort of chubby, but I still don't see how it's gonna eat an entire country. A lesson in cleanliness. Ah, oh, it's filthy in here. And not for long, I got this. A uh, tiny cat? No, a prototype cleaning robot from my cousin. Meow, ready to receive eating instructions. Hurry, customers will be here soon. Eat everything. Meow, affirmative. I always thought an experimental toilet bowl cleaner is weird, but now I am the smallest, chubbiest robot cat at 1.5 centimeters, and my job is to roam around eating all the floor boogers. Why are there so many floor boogers in this restaurant? Oh, they're peas! Oh, I see. That makes far more sense. Somebody spilled a bag of peas rather than emptying their nose onto the ground. And now I can eat the roaches. You see, so that's how a Tasty Planet game works. If you haven't seen one before, you eat stuff that's smaller than you so that you get bigger, and then you can eat bigger stuff. And it just kind of snowballs out of hand. This cat's probably going to eat all of existence soon enough. <laughs> but for now, I will have my pussycat eating the cockroaches. I should really be careful with what I say. YouTube's gonna take away my ads. What I mean to say is that my Vagoo cat is going to eat all of the peen roaches. Delicious, delicious peen roaches. Oh yeah, extra thick kitty coming through. <gasps> Ooh, okay, we're moving up in the world. Finally, I can get my revenge on the mice. I'm only seven centimeters long, but what is this restaurant? <laughs> Not only do they have vermin everywhere and cockroaches and mice, but there's also croissants and knives, like dozens of knives and baguettes on the floor. Are you gonna serve that to people? I, I shouldn't be cleaning this up. I should be reporting it. Robo Kitty, I know what you're thinking. Okay, that knife might look delicious and the guy may have foolishly said, eat everything. Not the words that he wanted to use, but you probably shouldn't eat that or a wine bottle. Okay, I guess we're just eating everything now, including that whole family of mice. <laughs> they wanted no part of this. Ooh, okay. Am I gonna get to the point where I can eat the employees? Oh, uh, yeah, when you play this game, there's always a tipping point. There's always a point where you get to just the right size where you can eat so much stuff that it rapidly snowballs. I'm willing to bet that it's gonna be when I can eat the people or the chairs, right? Look at all the people out here waiting for their food amongst the, all the crap on the floor. Why, why would you eat here? 33 centimeters? I guess I'm about average cat size now. Average obese cat size. <laughs> I'm shaped like a furry pear that can eat people. Mm. <laughs> the waiters scream. Oh, I love that. Oh, where are you going? Yeah, there's nothing left for you to serve. Trust me. So we got the kitchen cleaned out. Can I eat the chairs yet? No, not yet. We're getting there. Can I eat the people in the chairs? No, I can only eat waiters. And now I can eat the chairs. And now things get completely out of hand. <laughs> Why do they explode into little purple clouds? They just kind of gasp and explode. Yeah, you know what? It doesn't need to make sense. I'm a robo cat eating the world in victory. What? 
I didn't even get, oh, there's a negative time bonus. Time is going up and I need to be fast. And I didn't even get a single star. What, I, I ate those people. That's gotta be worth stars. I'm probably not gonna worry about the stars because they unlock the bonus levels where you can get more stars. And then if you get 350 stars in total, you get Metal Cat, which is just a skin for regular chubby cat. I'm just gonna focus on devouring all of existence and we can continue with Leave the Streets. So I guess I just left the restaurant and now I can stand here and dogs will kind of walk into my mouth? Are poodles really that stupid? <laughs> they couldn't handle the haircut, man. They, they had to end things. <laughs> so we've got trees and people. We're outside roaming around. I'm 46 centimeters long. Let's see, ooh. How ridiculous that'll get if we can eat tourists. I guess because there are stars, you're supposed to be moving around and going as quickly as possible to get the highest score, but I'm kind of fat and lazy, so I'm just gonna stand in the road with my mouth open <laughs> and wait for cyclists to just enter. I, I guess they see me as some kind of fuzzy tunnel? I can't really be sure. Finally, my pussycat can munch on that bush. <laughs> okay, I may be doing that intentionally at this point. I can't help myself. There we go, and let me guess, uh, just awful. Okay, you shouldn't stand in the street and eat people, let it be a lesson that you can live by. For some reason, this game isn't always chronological. Like, we were just 100 centimeters long or so, we were eating bushes and people, we had left the restaurant, but now we're in, waiter, there's a giant cat in my soup. Which makes me think that, once again, we're 11 centimeters long, and we're back in the restaurant. But it'll be different? I think the peak size that I can reach will change and then I'll be able to eat even bigger things in here. I don't know. Either way, kitty, don't fill up on bread. Okay, you save space for all those waiters. Human, H human, human, pet me. Pet, pet me, human. Okay, fine, don't pet me. See if I care. I get the feeling we are gonna get to the size where I can eat these stoves. Oh my God, there's so many people. Oh, I love their cries of terror. Okay, I'm not a nice cat, okay? I've never claimed to be. Here, human, human, human. If you will not pet my giant belly, then you will be inside of it. I am definitely gonna be eating these stoves. What kind of restaurant is this? Look at the size of this place, it's a maze. And they're all just roaming around. Nobody's using a stove. There's nothing going on here. There's nobody eating here, obviously. I can't imagine. Oh no, there are people eating here. What is wrong with you people? You're, you're clearly made of random purple fart clouds, but still, there's gotta be something else wrong with you. Money saving tip, if you ever go to a restaurant like this one, you wanna eat as many chairs as possible. The chairs are free, but they charge a really high price for the tables. Sometimes, you know what? You can splurge on a table if you really want to. But then back to the free chair. Oh, back to the free chairs and the premium tables. Well, la di da, Mr. Kitty. Maybe we'll send the regards to the chef. <laughs> yep, we are now a meter long, almost two meters long. Is there going to be a tipping point? I, I think I've pretty much eaten this entire restaurant. I am now the size of a truck. <laughs> Why are they still roaming around? Like, oh yeah. You look at that, that, that cat that we ordered. He's doing good work. This place looks real clean. Moving on to somewhere beyond the streets. I can only imagine. Oh, we're back outside again. Okay, we managed to get outside, I guess, restaurant headquarters. That's what it looked like. <laughs> Where they invent all of their meals. And uh, we're back to only being 40 centimeters. But we're starting off bigger every time. Oh, and there's cars. I really don't want to get hit by a car. Right, cats don't like that, do they? I can only imagine pedaling down a bike lane and then all of a sudden seeing a furry ball of hunger <laughs> the size of a dining room table and then being gone, just disappearing, just gone from existence. I don't know where they go. Clearly, I have some kind of black hole in my stomach. Maybe I can, ooh, yeah, look at all the people and mmm, bushes over here. That's what I like. I just want to eat a car. Is that so much to ask for? Hopefully not. Whoa. Yeah, the world is opening up for us now. That is pretty sweet. It's getting real difficult to cross the road when I'm almost the same size as a car. Cars don't really cross the road easily. Oh, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get all of these lamps. And then there's probably more stuff over here. 
Come on, let me eat a car. And then these buildings and everything. I want to eat it all. Street lights and bushes cannot satiate my hunger. Only vehicles and awnings can. <laughs> I'll really just eat anything that isn't nailed down, honestly. I wonder if there are families in these cars. You think there's like people going to church, going to school, going to work, going to visit their grandparents and they'll never be seen again? <laughs> Why am I making this so dark? <laughs> I'm a giant cat eating cars. It doesn't need to be such an R-rated movie. Bushes are a thing of the past. I've moved on to full-blown trees and soon buildings? You can never quite tell where the level is gonna end, but I really hope I get to munch down on at least a few buildings. There we go. And that would be the tipping point. That is the point where I can pretty much eat anything on the map and it's just gonna get completely out of hand. I'm never gonna get a star. <laughs> I know it doesn't matter, but I would like to be recognized as the good kitty that I am. Next up, Rond Point will have us stuck in the middle of traffic. Okay, um, I, oh, I really, mm, I need to eat people. I, I need, I need, ow, ow, I got hit by a car. Oh, human, 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 help. Well then, <laughs> apparently I'm doing the world a favor because the traffic here is crazy. At what point do people think, maybe we shouldn't be playing in traffic right now? Not because we keep getting run over, but because there's a tank-sized cat coming. <laughs> Priorities, people. I know technically you guys were not the cars that hurt me, but a car did hurt me. So I need to take my revenge on all of you and maybe on trees too. Yeah, you know what, screw trees. I, I keep getting stuck up in them. It's just the worst. People have to get me down, then I can't eat the people. It's really just, you know, robo cat troubles, man. <laughs> RoboCat Troubles 101. I should be having a tipping point soon. There it is. Wow. Negative. <laughs> Are they gonna take stars away from me? We now move on to the Tour de Baguette. Whatever the hell that could mean. Oh. Okay. So, people have decided to... Ow. Make a lot of food. And then use it to line the streets so that they can bike around be between it. France is a weird place. Would you watch where you're going? God, why, did, why does everybody want to run over a tiny little cat, okay? I'm not invisible here. I'm the size of an average cat and you keep hitting me with your bike. <laughs> you should stop and see if I'm okay. You should be concerned. You should rub my belly. I am gonna eat you all. I will be the devourer of souls and the baguette-filled streets will run red with the blood of the non-believers. <laughs> but how will you run your silly little bread race if I devour all of your roads and then all of the contestants? Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. I gotta be big enough now. <laughs> Here, cyclists. Oh, yeah, you guys are all gonna run away now, are you? Nobody, yeah, nobody wants a piece of the cat as soon as it can't be the whole piece. There we go. <laughs> Come on. One more. Just, just one more. Oh, you know what? I, I could go for seconds. Yeah, I could go for maybe just another one. I feel good about that. I got a star. Woo! The baguette star. Oh, no. It's the flicks. What's a flick? Am I? I'm confused. I'm just a robo cat, okay? I don't get all your weird pop culture references. I just want to eat people. Why did the giant man-eating robo cat cross the road? Apparently because the cops are after him. Oh, come on. I only ate a few humans. They're delicious, delicious humans, right? Mmm, peeper. Come on. Oh, I can eat the police now. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You guys, yeah, there we go. They were running me over. When they bump into me, they make me smaller, so I need to escape from them. I don't like holding space or using the mouse to control the game because then it's very sporadic. The camera's almost nauseating, but I, I gotta get away from them somehow. <laughs> the police are on to me. That's not good. Vos sur What? Oh. There's an outbreak of zombieism. Eat the zombies to save the city. So don't eat police officers. Don't eat regular people. Only eat zombies. The zombies look just like regular people from the top down. Oh, yeah, they walk with their arms out. They probably yell about brains. Why would I want to do that? I eat people just like the zombies. I, I should have a lot more in common with them than people would think. <laughs> oh, fine. I'll, ow, I'll help humanity. I mean, who else is going to open the cans of cat food and rub my belly and oil my gears? 
<laughs> there are a lot of zombies. I don't know if they convert people or not. I think they just kind of... Up here, sorry lady, you can't just jump in my mouth, you idiot. From what I can tell, the zombies don't convert people, they just eat people. Similar to how I do, right? I don't turn people into robot cats. <laughs> but I am getting most of them, right? And then when I get them all, I I'm sure I'll get like the key to the city or a star. Yeah, I'll take a star. And the final level brings us to we'll always have Paris. Except it'll be in cat poop form. Oh, I get to start from the very beginning and work my way up. This is the magic level. This is where all the fun happens. So I can start with the boogers, then we can move on to the cockroaches and the mice and the people. Oh, I can't wait. Come on, this floor is clean enough to eat people off of. Will you please let me move on to my bigger aspirations? There we go, okay. Now we got mice and croissants and knives and baguettes and all these other silly little things. Starting to think these mice may be made out of Kevlar because every time I bump into a knife, unless I eat it, I get hurt. And they just kind of bump into it and, and laugh and go along their merry micey way. <laughs> I mean, they used to before I devoured them all or are they too small for me to notice now? I never really thought about that, right? Because I couldn't see the people earlier even though they were clearly here. So maybe now that I'm people size, I can't see the cockroaches and boogers and so on and so forth. Yum, 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 I want waiters in my tum, tum, tum. Give me chairs. <laughs> oh, come on, give me that tipping point. I wanna see if I can eat the entire restaurant, right? Because I have to be able to move outside. How, oh, 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 little, little too fat, little too fat. We'll go over here. <laughs> That's okay, kitty. Okay, oh, geez, it happens to the best of us, right? Sometimes you just can't squeeze through and you have to eat a random lady. Any second now, there it is. We're bigger, we're badder, we're on the streets. Come on down to Gino's Wine Knives and Bread Emporium. You guys will love it, okay? Just tell them the giant hungry cat sent you. You'll get 25% off your first meal. Or you'll be a meal, you never know. Hey, 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 oh, oh, where are you going? It's a family-friendly restaurant. We'll eat your whole family, right? We love kids, they're delicious. Especially when they're in vehicles. Hey, 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 there we go, you come on down. Oh, it's gonna get to that point. We're gonna get there, right? Oh, there we go. Okay, I got trees. I can eat pretty much everything on the sidewalks. Okay, a little bit bigger. Now we're gonna move on to buildings. I honestly wonder where it's gonna end. Like, I would imagine probably with the Eiffel Tower, but I would love to be able to eat the entire country. We've done that before. We've, we've done everything before, right? The last Tasty Planet, we ate all of existence. <laughs> I'm sure this will be very similar. We just get different creatures and different environments. And there's apparently like uh, the 150 different things for us to eat. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Don't mind if I do. I would love some buildings. I am now 20 meters long. Oh dear. Yep, that, that is just... <laughs> That's a new perspective. I can't break out. The city streets are holding me in for, for now. For now. Hold on. We'll, we'll get there. We'll, hey, oh, oh, careful. Oh, those are like city blocks. I see. So first I need to eat the individual buildings. Then I'll get big enough to eat an entire block. There are the blocks. There they are. Whole city blocks gone in the cat mouth. <laughs> oh my god. It is really ramping up now. I am 80, 90... 100 meters in length? People don't need bridges, right? Yeah, bridges are, are not necessary. They, they don't help scratch valleys. Everybody needs to scratch my riddle belly. Come on. I think I might have accidentally eaten the Eiffel Tower. I wasn't paying attention, which is super anticlimactic. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? It, it just looked like an X and it got devoured. Maybe, probably, I'm not sure. We're gonna find out though. I am just devouring everything. Nothing stops me. It, it's just, I, I'm literally just pac manning Whoa, whoa. I wasn't expecting that. I thought we were done, but apparently not. <laughs> Oh, I am 300, 400 meters. These are city blocks now. Entire blocks gone in the cat mouth. Can I get even bigger? A little, little bit bigger. Oh, I'm almost a kilometer long. <laughs> you I can, oh, I can't even put it into perspective. It's so ridiculous. These are neighborhoods now. Oh, full neighborhoods. Okay, that river is just a puddle to me now. 
but I'm going to get I probably get to a kilometer and that'll be it. Right? I can't imagine it's going to go any bigger than that yet, even though I really hope we zoom out again. Oh, I'm a kilometer. Nothing? I, I'm hungry. Oh, that's it. <laughs> of course you're not going to give me a star. I only just ate all of Paris. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Tasty Planet Forever, guys. And it's a really fun little game. It's exactly what I love in Tasty Planet and the scale just getting ridiculous. Except for now, we get to do it with a bunch of different creatures, which is a nice little twist. If you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know. I don't know if I want to play through the entire game because it is so big and so long and this is probably going to be a very long video. But I am definitely interested in how an octopus is going to take over the world. I think so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.